Now, we come to something that I think is tremendous here. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldst not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it's written of me to do thy will, O God. Above, when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offerings for sin, thou wouldst not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And that word for all is in italics, and it means once he died for your sins and my sins. Now, here is one of the most beautiful references you'll have in the Bible. And I want to take time for that because I trust that we can be helpful to you in having the Word of God become very meaningful to you. Now, if you go back to the book of Exodus, and I'm turning there, the 19th chapter and the 20th chapter, 19th is preparation for the giving of the law. 20th chapter, you have the Ten Commandments given. Now, after that, God makes a gracious provision for sacrifices and altar. Goes right along with it. Then in chapter 21, there comes something that seems to be very much out of place. Having given the law, this is an interesting thing. It says, verse 1 of chapter 21 of Exodus, and I'm reading. Now, these are the ordinances which thou shalt set before them. Listen to this. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. In other words, you couldn't have a slave of your own people for longer than six years. Seventh year he's free. Verse 3, if he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he was married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons... Our daughters, the wife and her children, shall be her masters. He shall go out by himself. But listen now. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Verse 6. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear. That is, the lobe of the ear would be pushed against the doorpost and through with an awl. And an awl would run through the ear, and he shall serve him forever. And if you saw a man walking around like that, you know that he'd been given a wife and that he had paid the price of permanent servitude. Now, that's a tremendous law. Certainly, that's a lovely thing. But what's the meaning of it? Well, let's follow the meaning of it. We go over to the 40th Psalm. And in the 40th Psalm, I read verse 6. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened, or dig, just like you have back there about the servant. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book that's written of me. Now, you have that quotation here in Hebrews, and it is applied to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here's one of the most beautiful pictures you have in the Scripture. The Lord Jesus came to this earth, and he grew to manhood. Thirty years of age, he began his ministry. And he could come to the end of that ministry and say, which of you convicteth me of sin? He was wholly harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners. He could have stepped off this earth any day that he wanted to back to heaven and left this earth in sin and left you and me in the slavery of sin. But you see, he said, I love, I love those sinners. And God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So instead of saying his ear, he says, a body hast thou given me. A body for what? Well, 
He died on the cross, friends. He died on the cross. 